Lane by lane then. Here are the Jamaicans, led off by Peter Matthews in lane eight. Matthew Hudson-Smith, real talent, coming out of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Inside him, Trinidad and Tobago. Bronze here in 2014. Rennie Kuo on the lead leg. The Botswanans possess two very talented youngsters and here's the experience of Makwala to lead them off. David Verberg of the United States will run their opening leg before handing to Tony McQuay. Here are the French in lane three. Han will set them away. The Brazilians will run from lane two. Anderson Enriquez will hand off to Alexander Russo. Souza and Carvalho make up their team as we look at the Cubans and Colazzo running from the inside. And he'll take on that big stagger that the 4x4 four four has. You can see uh, the British athletes wearing black ribbons this weekend, remembering Jermaine Mason, former Olympic silver medalist who tragically died last week. Nice tribute from the Great Britain team. So they're down in their blocks. It's the men's 4x400 four meters final. Cuba in one, Brazil two, France three, USA four, Botswana five, Trinidad and Tobago six, Great Britain seven, Jamaica eight. As the gun goes, and they're away cleanly from the start. Hudson Smith has got the Jamaican Peter Matthews outside him, and Matthews has gone pretty well. On the inside, the United States with Verberg made a good start as well. McQuala, who might just be able to feel him a little on his shoulder. Quo on the uh, outside there for Trinidad and Tobago. Looks like a decent start from Peter Matthews. Also, though, from the United States with David Verberg going well. Well, from the looks of things, the Botswanans have loaded up their 4x4 relay, decided not to load up their mixed relay. Makwala has given up some ground to David Verberg, but we've got a long ways to go. Approaching the first handover, we'll watch who takes the baton first. Great Britain have done pretty well there. They're pretty even with the Jamaicans, so lane 7 and 8 looking good. But on the inside, of course, the United States with Tony McQuay now racing off on the inside. And you can see how strong they produced as McQuay, the red headband, blowing in the wind, takes a look up. He's having a real good look behind him. He knows he's got the Jamaicans settling in with Demish Gay in second place. The Botswanans now with Tebe are trying to make a little bit of a run for it. But the United States have got a good lead here. Well, Tony McQuay really pushed that first 300 nice and hard. We'll see how he can hang on this last 100, or we'll see if the early season fatigue gets to him. He's given up a little bit of ground, but a good run. Jareem Richards has run really well for Trinidad and Tobago, and they're in second place at the moment as the United States have the button in the hands of Kyle Clemens now in this 4 by 400 meters final. And it's Clemens who takes the ground into that back straight and he's got them chasing. The Jamaicans working really hard as well now to try and push up and put some pressure on with Martin Manley in there. And he's done really well. Trinidad hanging in there as well. Manley did a great move on the back straight with about 200 meters to go, but watch out for the Botswana team. They're in fourth position. They got a closer, remember that. Sabanda is poised and ready as Clemens brings them down the home straight. There's a four-way tussle at the moment for gold in this world relays. Who are we gonna see? Will the experience of merit do the job, or will it be the youthful style and talent of Sabanda? Remember, Sabanda was the quickest in qualifying, but LaShawn Merrick's been there and done it here at these World Relays. He knows how to anchor them. Trinidad and Tobago in there as well, and the Jamaicans with Gale putting the pressure on. What a race! Here comes Sabanda on the shoulder of Merrick. This is going to be some finish. The Jamaicans can't quite keep up with them at the moment. Stephen Gales just lost a couple of meters on them. Sabanda's having to work. Merrick, though, holding him off. He's done this before in the World Relays to bring the United States home to goal. And can he hold off Sabanda here? What a finish. It's Merrick for the United States. Holds off Sabanda. Jamaica will get the bronze. But once more, the United States celebrate gold. Two times.
time champions. It's now three time champions at the World Relays in the 4x400 meters. Well, the US team didn't need to load up this 4x4 relay. They've got the golden baton in hand. There's just not enough events that anybody can win to catch them. But it's all about the pride for this team. It's all about the continuing domination. They didn't want to give an inch to any of these teams. And how many times have we seen LaShawn Merritt bring it home for the US? He's done it twice here in 2014 and 15 at World Relays alone. And the US team right through from Verberg, McQuay, Clemens and Merritt will be celebrating gold again here in Nassau. But didn't he have to dig deep? The Botswana team were outstanding. Gordon, the tall figure, the Olympic bronze medalist from Rio, I thought might make a charge for Trinidad and Tobago. But the Sean Merritt was controlling the race here. But Botswana, super, super team. World number two and three in their squad at the moment in the rankings. Merritt had to dig deep for this one. It really was down to the wire, wasn't it? The crowd were on their feet. Well, just for a moment, you thought Savanda fancy he was going to do it, and then Merritt just stayed strong and held him off. And it was a real thriller of a finish, as it so often has been here in these finals of the World Relays. The Jamaicans were delighted as Stephen Gale brought them through for a hard-fought bronze medal. The battle going on behind as well with Trinidad and Tobago and Cuba in there. Great Britain had faded by that point as uh, Theo Campbell ran their anchor leg, but they were run out of it quite early on, really. Confirmation of the results. It's gold again for the United States in the 4x400 meters relay for men.